Hello everyone! If you have been watching my channel for a while, you've noticed that I've made few videos about Flash. It is great that many of you guys find them helpful, however there is still a one more thing that I haven't mentioned yet. And that is integrating Ruffle into your website. I know I said that I won't be making any more Flash videos, but well, here we go again. So hit the like button and let's get started. Here, as you can see, I've created a super simple website by using Express. If I go to the app.js file, there we have the project structure. We only have a single home route and that renders our index.ejs file. Also, if you don't know what EJS is, don't worry. It stands for Embedded JavaScript and it is a templating system to create HTML pages. So if I open that file under the views directory, as you can see, it is exactly like an HTML file. But we can do additional things such as logic based element creation and so on. However, this is not the point of this video. Anyway, now let's look at our file. In the head section, we don't have anything special yet. And in our body section, we got our header followed by an embed element. And as you can see, we got few properties set on our embed element. And those are the width, the height, and the source. The width and the height are pretty self-explanatory. However, as the source, we got a flash file. And that flash file is located in our public directory. And this is where we serve our static files, which we have defined previously on app.js file by using this line. Now let's run our website. To do that, I will be using the command npm test. And when I open up my package.json file, as you can see, I've configured it to run with a package named nodemon. This will help us to automatically view our changes on the website. Anyway, when I've executed the npm test command, we got our site up and running. And when we head over to it, as you can see, we got our header and our fl failed flash program. It is nice that our website is running, but unfortunately our flash program is not working. Now let's fix that. To fix it, we head over to the Ruffles official website, which you can find its uh, link in the description down below. There we go into the releases section and download the self-hosted version. It should start downloading a zip file. Then we simply extract it in our desired location. In this case, I will be using my desktop. And once we have done extracting it, we should have a folder that contains few files. Inside that, we need three of them, and those are ruffle.js, ruffle.js.map, and finally the .wsm file, which stands for WebAssembly. Now I just copy them and put them inside our public folder. As for the files go, we are done, but we need one more thing to do, and that is including ruffle in our page. To do that, we head over to the head section on our index file and put ruffle as a source, just like that. Now we are done. At that point, if I head over to our web page, as you can see, we got our flash program up and running. However, keep in mind that uh, this is the most basic usage. There are various things that we can do by using ruffle, such as customizations. For example, let's grab a code from JavaScript API from the ruffle GitHub page. This time we remove our source from the head section and put it inside our body just like that. By using this approach we can have more control over ruffle and specify our desired behavior. But just before showing you an example configuration, let's create a div object and give container it as an ID. This will be the place where our flash program will be run. And after that we add our flash file into the load function. Now. Just like in the previous example, it should run OK. And as you can see, it is exactly the case. And once we were there, let's figure out a sample configuration. See, once I have hit the right click and it opens up a context menu and from there I can go to full screen. Let's say that for some reason I want to remove this context menu option. I can easily do that by creating a configuration. To do it, we head over to our code and add window.ruffleplayer.config object. And inside that object, I can set context menu option to false. So now if I head over to our website and hit right click, as you can see, I don't get any menus. So it just works as expected. And referencing the documentation, you can easily figure out the rest of the options according to your needs. And since we mentioned documentation, I highly suggest you to look that up because it shows you what you need to do for various project configurations. Like for something I've shown you in this example, may not work if your project is set up differently. 
For example, if you are using Nginx for your project, then you need to add this and so on and so forth. You get the idea. And just like that, we have concluded this video. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed it and find it useful. If that is the case, make sure to hit the like and subscribe. See you next time. Take care.